Hey everyone, September 12th is National Video Game Day, and one of my favorite places to hunt for video games, especially retro video games, is Goodwill. So let's go take a look at a couple of Goodwills and see what rad retro games we can find. Both of the locations we're going to take a look at are in Gilbert, Arizona. This first one is located on the corner of Warner Road and Lindsay Road. What I like about my local Goodwills is they do a good job of keeping the games separate from all the other media. And uh, I'm going to grab this Tonka Rescue Patrol just because that TDK logo interests me. And then I see a Sierra logo. Oil Casino, a big box edition, a later one with a Costco price tag. So that looks like one of those late release Costco big box games. And we've got another one here, Battlefield 1942. Normally you see that in a much smaller box. And then Special Weapons of World War II right behind it. I'm at least going to attempt to grab all those. There we go. That is a handful of games. And down here we have like the Xbox stuff and the Wii stuff and um, not anything down here that I need but a decent selection of stuff and then of course always tons of PS2 games and uh, I'm actively collecting for PS2 but I don't need any of these either. And you've got stuff in jewel cases down here. There's always some interesting stuff down here. Like I spotted uh, the Lynx game there. It's a golf game. Uh, Lynx LS 98 edition. I actually don't have this one. I am kind of collecting these. So I'm going to grab this too, especially at that cheap price. That's a good deal. And then I also found some action figures over in the case, and I originally wasn't going to show these because they're not video games, but I did end up picking some up, but not these ones. You'll see those actually at the end of the video. Pretty cool stuff. And here's the second Goodwill. This one's on McQueen and Warner Road. And uh, this one is actually one of my favorite Goodwills. I really like this one. And off the bat, we see there's a Game Gear in the case, but uh, I don't need that one. But it actually did work well, so that was a good one. And there's some funky Game Boy <laughs> attachment down there new in the box. I didn't need that either. And then I spotted NES games and Wii games. I'm always excited to see NES games at Goodwill. So here was what was in that stack, and uh, I already had C-Cross or Cycross, or however you say that, and I had those Wii games as well, but I actually did not have Russian Attack. And that's a pretty good price for a uh, NES game. And I was actually pretty excited by those rental stickers too, we'll, we'll look, take a closer look at those later. Here's uh, this store's PlayStation 2 games, but there was nothing here I needed. I have noticed a lot of PlayStation 3 games and Xbox 360 games showing up at Goodwill, so now's the time to start looking for those there as well. And then here's the Wii games, and uh, I spotted this World War II Aces game. I've never heard of this, and this seems kind of obscure. I'm always kind of finding kind of cool obscure Wii games at Goodwill, so I'm going to grab this one for sure. I like that price too. And here's a really old uh, PC game. Looks like a Civil War strategy game. I also like obscure uh, old PC games like this, like these jewel case releases. And again, I really like that price, so I'm going to grab this one and give it a try as well. It is really nice that they do a uh, good job keeping this stuff separated from the music CDs. It's nice to not have to dig through those. And I was also excited to find more NES games. And I did not have the Chess Master game there, so I grabbed that as well. And I was really excited again to buy the rental stickers. So I'm pretty happy with the uh, cool stuff that I found only stopping at two local Goodwills. Let's take a closer look at some of it. So um, first we'll take a look at some of the uh, retro PC game stuff I got. I found this uh, the Civil War from Empire Interactive and uh, this is an old game. The, the minimum requirements on this are a 386DX33 so I'm, I'm pretty interested to play this. It looks like a uh, Civil War 
strategy game. Here's the back. Hopefully you can see that. Um, yeah, pretty excited about that. I like collecting these like old retro jewel case releases, so this is pretty cool. Um, next, just put that over there. Um, I got a copy of Lynx 98 edition, and I haven't cleaned the old Bookman's price tag off here, of all places. And um, this is one that I didn't have. I've actually been collecting the Lynx, um, the old Lynx retro golf games for the PC, and this is one I didn't have. This was only like three bucks, so that was cool. Um, over there. And then next, I got a couple of big box things I was pretty excited about. Um, of course, as you saw in the video, um, my eye, you know, is drawn pretty quickly to the Sierra logo. So this is um, Hoyle Casino from Sierra, and this is a newer release of theirs. You'll see this is the, it's got a Costco um, price tag on it. That's because this is one of those, uh, like, late release big box games when Costco was still having uh, big box PC games in their stores, but, um, you know, no one else was. They had kind of switched to those smaller form factors, so I was excited to find that. And then, um, right next to him, you know, was, was this. There was Battlefield uh, 1942, which this is a newer release, and you usually see this in a, a much smaller box. So, uh, this is another one that you can see the Costco price tag. Um, Costco big box releases for only a few bucks, and everything's in here. The game, um, it's a really sturdy box, too. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got, like, this other box inside there. But there's the game in the jewel case, you know, and then there's also, you got a nice manual, and, um, there's the manual. And there's like a reference card. So, so this it's like a legitimate big box PC game release back when they had already kind of stopped doing that. And then I also found um, this, which was uh, Battlefield 1942 Secret Weapons of World War II. Um, all of these say they'll run on Windows 98. And I have a Windows 98 machine that's kind of ridiculous as far as specs. And I, I don't really have any experience with the Battlefield games. So uh, I'm pretty excited to install these on my Windows 98 machine and uh, see how they do. Um, next, we'll take a look at, I found lots of cool console gaming stuff too, so let's, let's take a look at that. Um, first, uh, um, pretty much everything I found I think was Nintendo, yeah. So first I found this, uh, this is kind of silly, but Tonka Rescue Patrol for GameCube. I have no idea what this is, I've never heard of it, but it was cheap. And um, it's TDK is the publisher, which is funny, they, I know them for like blank tapes and stuff like that, so um, I'm kind of interested to play this and see what it's about. It's, it's probably not very good, I'm sure, but it it's probably will be good for a laugh, so uh, I grabbed that because it was only a few bucks. And then also, um, I never heard of this, World War II Aces for the Nintendo Wii. This looks like a like a World War II uh, flight simulator. It's a little like maybe on the arcade side. It looks like it might be third person view. Um, but I have no idea what this is, and it was, again, really cheap. It was only a few dollars, and uh, I'm a World War II, you know, history nut and stuff, and I love World War II airplanes. I think some of the um, World War II airplanes are just absolutely beautiful. So this should be kind of interesting. I never heard of this, so excited for that. And then, as you saw in the video, I actually found NES stuff, which was really cool. Um, a lot of people would complain that they don't find stuff like that at Goodwill anymore, but there was NES stuff, and it was, it was all reasonably priced. Um, and I was really excited about these because of the stickers on them. So, uh, this is Russian Attack, and believe it or not, I did not have this. I know this is a super common game, um, but it wasn't very expensive at Goodwill, and I didn't have it yet. And I'm actually excited. You can see it has these uh, first choice superstores, like video rental store labels on them. I love uh, video games with rental store labels on them because um, I'm, you know, I miss rental stores. So, uh, that was pretty cool, and I actually didn't have this game. And then also another game I didn't have, which was uh, the Chess Master for the NES. Again, kind of common or whatever, but this one also had rental stickers on. I Hopefully you can see this. It says Video Co-op on there. And um, it says Video Co-op Rental Stores, and it's got the address is 2675 East Main Street. But then the phone number doesn't have a, uh, a uh, area code on it. It's just like the seven number. So I don't know if this was local. Because that kind of seems like a like maybe a local address, but um, there's another label there, Video Co-op. Hopefully you can see that. Um, but I always, like I said, I like I love having NES games, especially that have rental stickers on it, because I used to rent. I think like a lot of kids did. I used to rent a lot more um, games than I actually bought or were you know given as gifts. So that's something really cool to find a Goodwill. And there was actually other NES games like you saw in the video. Um, I just I didn't grab those because I didn't need them. I already have copies on them of them, so I figured I would leave them for somebody else to find. Um, now, the last thing we'll take a look at were the action figures that I mentioned. Now, the shot in the video you saw were some sealed, like, retro action figures. And um, I ended up buying some of them, and the ones that I bought are not in that shot because I originally wasn't going to include them in the video because it's not video game stuff, but I really wanted to show these off because I picked up some really cool ones at Goodwill. 
So um, now let's take a look at the ones that I actually got that we haven't seen yet because they weren't featured in the uh, store videos. Alright, so the first two we'll take a look at are the Star Trek The Next Generation figures. It's Deanna Troy and Dr. Crusher. I was a huge fan of Star Trek The Next Generation when I was a kid, so I was super stoked to find these. They don't even have, look, they're, the little hang punch thing isn't even punched out at the top of the box right there. It's still still there. So these are in really nice shape. Um, I'm probably not going to open these. I'm going to you know, hang these on the wall probably or whatever, use them as shelf candy. But uh, when I was a younger kid, I younger kid. Uh, I had a huge crush on Deanna Troy when I was like in sixth and seventh grade and stuff. So um, that's cool to have the, man, her makeup. I don't know if you can see her makeup, but wow, is that a lot of makeup. Um, anyways, yeah, that's cool to have. So I was pretty excited to find these. And you'll see they were $6.99 each. I'm not a huge action figure collector, so I don't know if that's a good price or not, but it seems fair to me. Um, and also pro tip, if you shop at, uh, you know, local Goodwills, Goodwill of uh, Central and Northern Arizona, if you go to their website, which I'll put down in the description below, you can sign up for like an email newsletter and they don't spam you, they only send you like one or two emails a month, but there's a 20% off coupon um, that you can use in the stores each time you go um, that month and they mail a coupon out once a month. So I didn't even pay $6.99 for each of these, it was actually you know 20% off my total purchase, which was really cool. So uh, if you shop at Goodwill a lot, go get that coupon, it's worth having. And also you can use it more than once. You uh, you can just have it on your phone and show it to them each time you check out, as long as it's that month's coupon. Um, they'll take it, which is cool. With 20% off is awesome. So I also got, um, the next one we'll take a look at here. Let me put it down here and get it. I got, it's it's a Disney's Aladdin, which is really cool. And again, $6.99. Um, and you can see it's got the old school Mattel logo and stuff. This is really cool. I'm trying to remember, see what this had the year on it. I don't think it did, but this seems to be from when the movie came out and it's Aladdin in the carpet. And this is really cool. And again, I think $6.99 was, you know, then 20% off of that basically. It was a really fair price for this. Um, that's really cool. And then the other one I grabbed, this one I'm really excited about because I'm a huge fan of the movie, is this is a Thunder Whip Batman. And you can see there it's it's um, it's Michael Keaton Batman. And it's like the, uh, or the first Batman, the good Batman movies. Well, the last one's been okay too, but... Like the first two Batman movies, the um, Michael Keaton uh, with the Danny Elfman music, all that. Those were the best. Those are the best Batman. So I'm really excited to have this. Um, I remember seeing commercials for this when I was a kid, and it's from. It's got. It's cool. It's got the old school Kenner logo on it. And uh, again, it's in pretty decent shape. This is gonna look cool. I probably won't open this one, but man, look at. I hopefully you guys can see that. It's the hopefully the autofocus isn't screwing it up, but all the. Um, I remember seeing commercials for all of these toys, so this is really cool to have. Again, I know not video games, but on top of really cool video game stuff I found uh, while hunting for uh, National Video Game Day, I found cool action figure stuff too, so definitely check out your local Goodwills. I only stopped at um, two, and I found lots of great stuff, you know, stuff I didn't have, so. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see more like it, or, you know, other Goodwill subject videos. Let me know. Uh, make sure to also hit that, um, if you're a subscriber, make sure you hit that bell icon next to the subscribe button because that will uh, notify you every time I upload a video, which um, I'm hopefully, you know, I'll be planning doing at least once a week. So uh, definitely hit that bell icon. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching and uh, take care. Want to see your name here? Head on over to patreon.com slash to find out how you can help support the channel. Hey, thanks for checking out my video for National Video Game Day sponsored by Goodwill of Central and Northern Arizona. If you enjoyed this video, why don't you check out one of these other videos I've got here. And also don't forget to follow us at the social media links down below because that's the best way to keep up with what's going on with the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.